The second worst CEO of the year is Ron Johnson, former CEO of JCPenney. And I guess I'm not the only one to think that because he only made it through April of this year before he was actually fired. Uh, Ron Johnson's a pretty famous guy. He came from Apple. Uh, he was the guy that worked with Steve Jobs in developing the Apple retail network, all the stores, and obviously that's an unbelievable success. He comes in to JCPenney, a very different company obviously, and decides let's create or recreate the Apple strategy. Uh, let's go high end, let's get rid of all of our discounting that all of our JCPenney customers are used to. Uh, let's focus on brand and let's redesign the store so they look kind of hip and stylish. And all those things, uh, we could just imagine a JCPenney customer showing up and seeing all those things that are so contrary to what they're used to and actually what they love because there was a lot of customer loyalty at JCPenney before, before Ron Johnson. Um, and so the changes that he brought in were, were radical. Uh, he talked about how you had to uh, educate, how, how we had to educate the customer. In other words, it was the customer that had to change to the strategy and not the strategy that had to change to the customer. And I don't know too many companies that are successful with that approach. Ron Johnson's personal style didn't really help things very much. He actually commuted by company jet from his home in Palo Alto in Silicon Valley to headquarters in Dallas. Uh, usually only stayed a few days during the week. Um, didn't endear himself to employees and in fact one of his primary ways of communicating with people would be through these video broadcasts every 25 days and it would be it would say something like uh, day 50 of the Ron Johnson um, uh, tenure as CEO of the company um, putting himself as the center of, of, of attention and sometimes he even taped those uh, those video broadcasts from his home in Palo Alto uh, it's so removed from kind of the core of what the company is um, in, in the end, uh, I think Ron Johnson is going to go down as one of the worst CEOs of the decade, not just of 2013. The company is in, in a struggle for survival right now under his successor, who is also his predecessor, Ron Ullman, very talented CEO, but someone who just has a gigantic job in front of him, fixing double-digit declines in sales, uh, in same-store in same store sales, uh, $4 billion knocked off in total, in total revenue. Um, hundreds of thousands of customers that have decided to vote with their feet by not being part of the story anymore. Uh, very big challenge, but it's Ron Johnson who created that challenge and who really self-inflicted uh, a disastrous strategy, an arrogant strategy, on JCPenney.